Sophia Marie's are pretty decent accordions, but they do need some modifications. And uh, the same with mine. It's a well-tuned accordion. Sounds real good. But it seems like some of the buttons need some modifications. And that's something that I want to address today. And I'm going to go ahead and show you via this video uh, the modifications that I made and the tools that I used. Now this video is kind of rough. It's kind of homemade. Um, I'm using my home equipment. Uh, so bear with me, I'm doing the best that I can, but hopefully it'll still be instructional and it'll still help some of you out there on how to fix your so Sophia Marie if it is having some problems with its buttons, buttons getting stuck, which is very common, uh, buttons pushing against uh, the mechanisms inside of the accordion so you get two notes instead of one. Little common problems like that can be fixed very easily. If you've got a well-tuned Sophia Marie, you basically got uh, an inexpensive good accordion to start with and that's just my opinion many of my colleagues out there uh, in the accordion world, world feel otherwise and I respect uh, th their uh, good opinion on you know investing uh, a little bit more uh, saving up a little money and maybe purchasing uh, Honer accordion Honer Panther or other accordions that are out there at a good price but nonetheless I feel this will help everybody in a, in a general sense with some common problems that you may find in an accordion Uh, if I show you right here, that's a typical screw, nothing fancy, just a very small wood screw for the Sophia uh, Marie backplate. And as you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six screws. Okay, and basically what I do is I remove each screw one by one with a very small Phillips uh, screwdriver, not the small kind where that you might use for uh, your glasses as you can see this is a husky small uh, screwdriver uh, Phillips and I just go ahead and I take out those wood screws uh, get them started as you can see right there usually I use both hands but right now I'm actually holding the uh, camera with one hand so I tried to make life easy on myself by just putting in two. As you can see, there's not much to it. Here at this point, the screw is almost down, so I can just go ahead and finish the rest of taking it out with my fingers as opposed to using the Phillips. As you can see, once the screws are out, you just push this plate up. It's basically shoved down in there. This plate. See, it's just shoved in there. So once you've got it, you can put your finger in there. Or initially, what I had to do is I had to get a flat screwdriver and just put my microfiber rag in between and just push that up a little bit. And once I can get my finger in there, I can move this plate right up. And there are my buttons and the mechanism. And to go ahead and put it back, almost the same thing. We just put the plate back there and, and push it down. And the plate is made out of metal, so there you go. And we're ready to put the screws back on. First of all, these are my basic tools to fix the accordion. As you can see, nothing fancy there, nothing out of the ordinary. It is padded, so these pliers right there are padded. I also have these pliers right there, which are padded. I'm going to show you how I use them here in a little bit. And then the basics, a flathead screwdriver. I've got two of those. And a Phillips screwdriver and that basically helps me get into the accordion point I want to go ahead and show you inside of the mechanism and as you can see I've already put my mark there JD M for modified and when this Sophia Marie was modified 61506 
And as you can see, the Sophia Marie looks like it's in real good shape. It's a it's a really nice looking accordion. Let me go ahead and turn the light off. It's a really nice looking accordion. As you can see there, it's a pretty nice looking grill, nice looking box, nice looking buttons. Here are my tools right there, my chamois. Now, <clears throat> part of the problem here is when I was playing the scale that right there. As you can see, you can see very easily what is happening and that is not a non-common problem with the Sophia Marie's. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fix this very easily and I'm going to show you how. Okay, Basically what you do is you take your felted pliers here. You have to be very careful when you're doing this, but you go ahead and push the button back. And after you push it back, you bend the metal mechanism ever so slightly down a little bit. Let me show you right there. You bend it ever so slightly down. Voila there you go so there you go just a little short there on how you can uh, make sure that all of your buttons are adjusted and working correctly on your Sophia Marie as you can see there's a lot of close calls right there and you can just adjust yours appropriately as you can see I put my Sophia Marie back together back plate is nice and on right there we access the buttons. Let's go ahead and give it a shot now and see what we can accomplish here. Let's see if we can play the C scale. That's the button I fixed right there. So as you can see, it's not touching anymore. It's playing a little bit nice. So it sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. So if you've got a Sophia Marie, I've shown you a real simple method to open up the back plate and straighten out the pieces of metal that are holding the buttons up that actually open the bellows that are connected to the mechanism that opens the bellows. But some of those are pressed against each other sometimes and you can just open the back and just with like these simple tools that I've shown you, pretty much the only two tools you'll need are a Phillips screwdriver to open the back and pair of pliers with some felt on the front uh, or the fel felt on the tips. You can go ahead and use those uh, to open up the accordion uh, and fix those pieces that are touching against each other and then you too can have a nice sounding button friendly Sophia Marie. <laughs> Enjoy your accordion.